everybody, Teresa here. Welcome back to my channel, Lost My Thread. Today I want to talk to you about the clothes that I reached for the most this past fall. It is my Autumn Blue Maid Greatest Hits. If you are newer to my channel, this is a regular series that I do every season where I look back over the previous season and see what were the me maids that I was reaching for the most. Part of that is for myself, just to be able to spot patterns and trends and to help myself with planning for the future and maybe just think about wearing things I'm not wearing as often, changing things up with my style. But also I know that a lot of you find it really helpful to see what I'm actually wearing because the things that you wear the most are the things that potentially have the most value in your wardrobe. Not to say that I don't love those one-off pieces as well, but I feel like if you wanna make a cohesive wardrobe that you're gonna wear regularly, these are the kinds of things that for myself anyway, I find useful in my wardrobe and you might agree. I will put a link up here to last year's most me made items from the autumn and also put a link to the whole playlist down below in case you wanna check those out. If you're on the Southern hemisphere, you may wanna look at what I wore the most in the spring and summer because that might be a little bit more relevant to where you are. This has been a less typical autumn for me because I've had issues with my hand and my wrist. I have been off sick from work, which means that a lot of the things I tend to wear for work have just been sitting in my wardrobe. So the things that I wore the most were really more just like things I would wear on a day to day, to go to the shops, to go for a walk. And I think that did just influence a little bit of the choices that I made. The things that I wore the most, I will say, weren't necessarily like stand out, wow, I wore that an absolute ton, but the five things I'm gonna show you definitely were the most worn, and I did reach for them quite a lot this last few months. The first one I will show you guys got pulled from the wash, because I'm still wearing it a ton, and it is these trousers. So this is a stretch corduroy fabric I got from So Me Sunshine. These are the Sasha trousers from Closet Core Patterns. This one has a lot of stretch, really more stretch than I was expecting. So, so many sunshine, I think it actually came from Fabrics Galore. I'll put it up on the screen, I wanna be accurate. Um, but yeah, these jeans, or these trousers I should say, they are so comfortable. I generally do like a corduroy for being nice and soft against the skin. A bit of stretch is never gonna hurt. It is a stretch jeans or stretch trouser pattern from Closet Core Pattern, so it's intended to be made with stretchy fabrics. This one though, I feel like is more stretchy than a lot of stretch, and so I feel like it's just that a little bit more comfortable. And the color I feel like is very autumnal. I really do love this shade of red, and this has definitely been one that I've been reaching for. I feel like it goes with so, so much in my wardrobe, apart from all the red tops, so I'm, I'm gonna rectify that and make some non-red trousers soon. But anything that's not red, I feel like most of it goes with that to be honest and I feel like it's just been a really good one to have and reach for all the time. The next one is these. These are the Jude jeans by Closet Core Patterns. Are you spotting a pattern yet with what I was reaching for? <laughs> these are also made in a stretch fabric. This is a stretch cotton twill fabric that I got from Minerva. Again, really pretty decent amount of stretch super duper comfortable to wear. These ones are a very 1970s styling and I really enjoy that. They're very high-waisted as well, or the view that I went with is a very high-waisted. It has some patch pockets, which I feel like are a really cool, authentic 1970s style. They have a big old bell bottom on the bottom. I will say as it's getting a little bit colder, I don't necessarily want to be having that big bell because a bit of Warm, cool air can actually draft into your trousers, but I really like wearing these even when it's hot for that reason, to be honest. But I did wear them a lot in the autumn. Again, really love this color. This is more of a rusty color, so there's a little more orange and brown in this than the previous trousers, but clearly I like wearing red. Clearly I like wearing my red trousers. And this is why, like I said, I am now planning in the winter to make some more like a khaki, greeny, gray color trouser because I need things I can wear with my red tops because I'm very much enjoying red at the moment. But definitely these are such a fun style. They are really comfortable to wear. Again, I feel like the color and the style, they go with so much in my wardrobe and they just make me happy to wear them. The next one to show you guys is this top. Now I feel like I'm honestly quite surprised that this top made it so high on the list because I only made it pretty far into the autumn, probably about halfway through autumn, but I really, really love it. I'll show you the print because that is probably the biggest reason I'm wearing it. I absolutely love it. This gorgeous blue, I really do love that blue with that beautiful orange flowers on top. Really great color contrast. This is the Grafton top by Cashmerette. There are lots of options when you make the Grafton pattern. 
but this is the top version. It's a scoop neck and it's an elbow length sleeve. Really, really love this top. The colors make me happy. The style is just really perfect. The fit is spot on. This is a linen jersey blend fabric that I got from So Me Sunshine. I made this one from a remnant. It was a fabric that I'd been eyeing for such a long time. When I made this, I was a little bit unsure about the linen jersey because it wasn't the softest fabric I felt in my life, especially for like a t-shirt. But this one, because it's a tighter fitted t-shirt, it doesn't seem to like rub or move around when I'm wearing it. I don't notice it being the, not the softest of fabrics. Definitely very comfortable to wear, but the pattern on it, the style of it, They've just been such a pretty one to go for. I really love wearing this one under overalls and pinafores, as well as just wearing with any kind of trouser, including the two trousers that I just showed you guys. It's definitely a big winner in my wardrobe, considering I've only been wearing it for the last, what, like month and a half, and I've still been wearing it more than any of my other tops. I think that's pretty good going. Next up is this sweatshirt. There had to be a sweatshirt, right? We're not gonna get through autumn without a lovely cozy sweatshirt. This is a really lovely cotton jersey, it's a fleece-backed cotton jersey fabric that I got from Like So Amazing. I really love this shade. It's like a gray blue, which I really like. I feel like the color as I'm back here is probably a little more accurate. It looked a bit bluer when it was close, but this is a really accurate representation of the color. It's a beautiful color. I love the grid pattern. It's really fun. The inside is a really lovely soft cotton fleece back. It's a really snugly one to wear. I will say it's a lighter weight fleece back cotton sweatshirt and you get quite a range with that. And I feel like that just makes it a really good just throw on over anything. And this is the toaster sweater one. I have to remember because there's the one and the two. Yeah, it's the toaster sweater one version with that kind of collary neck going up, which makes it really extra snugly, especially in the soft fabric because both sides of the fabric are really nice and soft. When I made this one, I used a knit interfacing along the neckband because I was worried that it was gonna be a bit too floppy. And I'm so glad that I did that. It gave it a really nice structure to that neck. And it just feels really cozy to wear, it really does. This one I throw on just when I'm at home. I put it on when I'm going out. It's just a really good extra layer. I love the raglan sleeve on here. I love the general fit that's just, it's a little bit oversized, but it's not too huge and boxy. It feels really cute, it feels really stylish, and it feels super comfortable. So, I mean, no surprises that I was wearing it a lot, right guys? I do really love this sweatshirt. It's definitely the one I was reaching for the most this last autumn, and again, this one came out of the laundry because I was wearing it just the other day because I'm still loving wearing this one into the winter. It's a definite hit in my wardrobe. And the last one to talk to you guys about is one that I'm wearing right now. It is this vest, this wonderful vest, the Murcott Puffer Vest. It's one of the Cashmere Club patterns. I color blocked it with the three colors. That was not part of the original design, but I love it so much. There's the pink down here as well as up at the top. Obviously I'll be putting in some pictures. This vest, I will say, if there was a winner, like standout winner, it was this vest. I wore this vest so much in the autumn. I made it at the end of last autumn and I feel like that is really the season when it comes into its own. I had never been somebody who had worn a vest much before. I wasn't sure if it was something I would wanna wear because I get cold hands, I get cold arms. And I was like, well, yeah, if it's warm on the body, so what, I'm gonna be cold otherwise. But it really does, like warming up your core, warming up your body, it's just extra snuggly in, in a kind of way. And I feel like this is great to throw on when it's just a little bit chilly, but not necessarily you want a big thick jacket or a sweater. I mean, I certainly wear this one out as well when it's just a little bit cooler. It's the kind of thing I feel like when maybe it's a cold evening and you wanna put something on, it works really well. I've been wearing this over so many of my me made tops. I will say I'm probably my Favorite way to wear it is over a turtleneck, but I like wearing it over long sleeve shirts, three quarter length, elbow length short shirts. I'd be curious to hear if you guys style your vests in different ways, because I feel like this could probably go even further in my wardrobe. It has to go with the colors, but because there's a lot of color on this and it's generally my palette, I feel like it goes with a lot. And I really like how this one looks paired over those trousers that I was just showing you guys, both those pairs of trousers. I feel like this one is definitely just a really nice cozy one to wear. The colors make me so happy and it's just like giving myself a hug wearing this vest. So it is a quilted vest, the inside is just pink, so it's the same fabric. This is a washed cotton fabric that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. I absolutely love all these colors. There's a bit of a texture on the washed cotton that I really enjoy as well. 
I put some clear snaps on this one because I couldn't decide what to do as far as the snaps and I feel like that's a really cool detail, not something that I've seen around a lot. This also has welt pockets, which means when you put your hand in the pockets, you're inside the quilted lining as well, which is really extra cozy. It's a really cute one. It's a really fun one. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever made. And so I'm glad that I'm actually reaching for it and getting a lot of wear out of it. It's really fun. I highly recommend making yourself a quilted vest if you are someone who hasn't worn them much before. Honestly, I was surprised with how much I really enjoy wearing a quilted vest. It's so, so cozy. I do question whether I should make another one in more of like a neutral plain shade, but this one just makes me so happy. I feel like I don't want to wear this one less. I just want to wear this one pretty much as much as I can. When I look back over what I've been wearing the most over the last season, I think comfort is definitely key, especially not going into work. Really, comfort has been the ultimate for me. And I feel like most of the things that I was wearing the most are very much what you would expect. A puffer vest, a sweatshirt, they're great for that transitional weather of, you know, throwing on when it's a little bit chillier and being able to take it off if it heats up. The red trousers, I just, I love the colors and they are just so good in the autumn and so much fun to wear. The top, the floral top did surprise me a bit only because I've made it quite recently, but I know that I love this style. I know that I love the print, so I'm not overly surprised that it's one that I was reaching for the most. I'd be interested to hear if you have similar garments in your wardrobe that you've been wearing a lot over the last autumn, or if there's anything different that you found that you've been reaching for. Let me know if you are thinking about making any similar styles or any of the patterns that I made. Always happy to answer any questions if you do have them. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video today. Please do give me a like if you did. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you want to see upcoming videos, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye!